This was so dense, it was so dark that you could barely see through the mangoes. This is Kuchi Kenya. Victor explained to us how its original name meant darkness because of just how healthy this forest used to be. Each and every name of a place has a meaning. So for you to have a mango forest that the community could barely see through, walk through, it tells you how dense it was and how big the trees were. Uh, Today, Kuchi looks like this, far from the dark, dense forest it once was. But we have a plan to restore Kuchi back to its former glory, and it involves digging kilometers worth of trenches. We asked Solomon how these trenches help make unplantable areas into viable growing conditions for young mangroves, ensuring the right balance of salinity and healthy soil. So what happens when there are no trees there, and during heavy rains, when there's a lot of water flowing downwards to the mangroves area? That water comes with the soil. That soil is actually poison to the mangroves. It kills the mangroves. It wipes all the mangroves. So the trenches help us to dig to the, to the kind of soil that the mangroves prefer. So we dig about two and a half feet. Uh, we get to the soil that is natural, that was naturally here, and which is very conducive for mangroves. So once we get that soil, we plant the mangroves now. And we find that there is now the growth. It starts coming up, start coming up. So in whatever we're doing, we're just filling the space with the right species in the right uh, zone and then allowing nature uh, to take care of uh, itself. 